Over the weekend, there were several AD carry buffs on the PvE, and the only reason I didn't talk about them is because there was actually supposed to be even more coming today on Monday. So by the time I record, edit, and make this video and put it out, there might even be even more changes to other champions on the PvE, and I'll probably put them like in the comments down below if you want to check those out. Also, this is coming from Surrender at 20, so just make sure to also check out that website. That might give you everything you want to know too. So. Caitlyn has some buffs to her Piltover Peacemaker, which is her Q, which is the damage is being increased and the wide shot damage is being changed, but also the bigger one in my opinion is her ultimate Ace in the Hole. The target range right now at level 6, 11, and 16 is 2,000, 2,500, and 3,000. And it's now just going to be 3,500 at all ranks, including level 6. Really playing up that sniper thematic, I guess. Holy moly. Corky is having some Missile Barrage damage increase, which he's not really played AD Carry. He used to be way back in the day. Back in my day, you youngins. Or however you want to go about that, because I feel like I'm old now talking about it that way. But at the same time, years ago, he used to be more of a bottom laner with Trinity Force. He became a mid laner, and maybe this will not really be an AD Carry buff, but a mid lane buff. But nonetheless, there it is. Callista, who they just said they were abandoning, has some base AD increase, AD per level is being increased, attack speed is being increased, and on the Q, the damage is being increased. The big one there for me is the attack speed per level being increased, because one of the things they did to Callista that made her feel kind of bad was make it so like you lose attack speed if the person you're binded with is away from you. Either they're roaming because it's a support or something like that, or you're playing Callista in the off lane, you bound with the jungler to have some cool potential there. Again, if they're off, you know, clearing jungle camps, you lose attack speed and stuff. So giving her more attack speed per level might make that feel a little bit better. So that way your support can also roam a bit and be, you know, successful that way, but also you're not feeling like, oh, I can't do nothing without them. Another kind of smaller one, but might be kind of okay. Tristana's explosive charge, the cooldown is being lowered, so that can be up more often. So you can throw charges on people and towers more often and try and pop that off. And another bigger one, Vayne. I mean, we all love Vayne. Final hour, the tumble. The cooldown is now being reduced by 50% on use of final hour. So in other words, her Q is tumble, the thing she uses to tumble around. That cooldown will be on 50% when she is ulting, which means basically kind of like perma stealth if they're good enough anyways, but we all have vein spotting, so probably not, and that's probably not as big as a worry or a concern. So there you have it, another AD carry that was talked about getting some changes was Jinx. As you may have noticed, there are no Jinx changes yet, but as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's an update currently loading onto the PBE that will take an approximation of two hours. So like I said, by the time I finish making and editing this video, that hour might be up, and Jinx and maybe other champion AD carries might be changed as well, and I'll put them in the comment section down below. But in the comment section down below, let's have a discussion about these changes. What do you think about AD carries getting stronger and the ways they're getting stronger specifically? Because one of the things about Caitlyn that they said originally was the direction they're going with crit items, we're not really going to buff Caitlyn specifically because we think the buffs will benefit Caitlyn. Caitlyn, but here they go with Caitlyn buffs, maybe they won't do the item changes, or maybe the item changes have changed, or maybe they're like, we don't mind Caitlyn just being powerful again, like season 7 or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, that's all from this video from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button, but I don't know what your video will be next, because life can have a lot of kinks. So until this time, take care. GG, get jinxed. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.